All right, hello, we're back. So we're not sure if we're gonna keep doing it in like 10 minute videos, right? It's gonna be super annoying uploading everyone, but we're going to continue through this binder here. We had, uh, what, one binder we went through and we still got, what, two binders over there and we're like halfway through this one. So we're pretty much just looking at the art of card fight vanguard. So this is where we ended, right? At the end of the other video, we we're gonna see what the Encourage Angel was about. I shall awaken when your power for you. I shall awaken your power for you. All right, super sick. So there's a anime character. She's got super sick armor on. She doesn't really have armor on, right? She just has like some shirt, maybe some boots, maybe some arm things, and then some wings. So is she a royal paladin? She's not an angel feather. Oh, she's an angel though, right? Royal paladin, an angel, but she's not an angel feather. So she's actually sitting on some tree here, right? You can see there's trees in the background. And you can see maybe this is some roots of the tree. There's some flowers growing on the tree there, right? It looks like there's some uh, rainbow colors. Rainbow colors coming out of the flute. Oh, maybe rainbow colors uh, surrounding her. Okay, so maybe she's playing that flute. And that's uh, creating some magical melody that's doing something. And look at even if here, if you could manage to see behind the text somehow, maybe there's even a more down there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so you can actually see the entire boots through the text. Yeah, because it's not a 100% white. It's a little tiny bit see-through. So it'd be super sick if there's some like a full art version of this so you could actually see the boots. Yeah, I guess it still does come a bit on camera. But there's that card, right? There's that one. So we shouldn't uh, spend too much long looking at uh, every single card. It's going to take forever to go through everything. There's the flow goal from the Royal Paladins. So we've seen one version of her. How much longer are you sleeping? Wake up. Is there anything in the back? So is that just like a uh, earring or something? What is that? Just like floating there. Maybe it is connected to the fur or something. There's a cool pink dog. And then we got a cub here, right? Jewel Knight Glittany. This is only the beginning. So he's probably super sick. We got a snow in the background with a snow <coughs> snow cat. Snow cat with a anklet on. Snow cat with a... What is that? Some type of magical device, I imagine. Super sick. That's a super sick cat. Super sick cat. We got uh, 12 of them, right? Each of these is a play set. There's four cards in each one. Here's the next card. <clears throat> so I think we used this card in that one video, right? The one video made when we were trying to compare the cards. Jewel Knight, Opt Harvest, Royal Paladin, Elf. Now the world shall wake. Oh, so there's actually no text box. You can actually pretty much see the full art of this card, right? Even though this is like a common card, you can see the full art of it. That's why card fight's super sick. So you can see here, we got some angel with some cool uh, boots on. Everyone always has cool boots. And a cool pink skirt there, right? And there's a sword. Is that a sword? Oh, two swords. Are those swords or is that just the arbor? I think it's just the arbor. All right. And a cool belt with a jewel in it, maybe. Silver belt. So I guess those are coming out of the belt. So maybe that's like some extra side armor or something. That there's some armor, and then she has a cape, some type of cape, flowing cape. She's playing a harp there with some type of gem in the middle. So it's like a golden harp. And it's like maybe something is coming out of the harp. Some power is coming out of the harp. Super sick. <clears throat> so I think it's because she's like a stand trigger. I think all of these guys are supposed to help the main character, right? Zero characters, you draw them for a trigger check, and then you draw a stand, and then he comes out, and then he blasts you with this thing. She comes to help. She comes here with this thing to back up your main character. And super sick pink hair, right? Alright, <clears throat> so there's that one. We got you. You're the night uh, festival, the royal paladin, the human. Come, it's the start of the festival. All right. So like there's uh, flags there. One, maybe there's different flags. He has uh, two different flags. Is he holding them? Oh, yeah. There we go. So he's holding that flag. There's the handle. And there's the other flag going there. He must be holding the other flag with his other hand that's uh, behind his back. That makes sense. And then the other flag's coming down over here. <clears throat> so it looks like he's holding two flags here. It's so like there's uh, streamers coming out of the flags, maybe some other types of diamond streamers coming out, and then other small streamers coming out. 
and it just uh, spins in circles. Maybe spins in circles. Yeah, there's some banners coming out of the bottom of the flags. There's a lot of uh, stuff here, a lot of colorful things in this picture. Another cool anime character. <clears throat> so he has a cool arbor on, right? Super sick boots, super sick pants, super sick uh, arbor, super sick belt, super sick chest piece, super sick that thing. Super colorful anime character. <clears throat> All right. So now we got what? Pixie, Fife the Drum, Royal Paladins, the Self, Toot Toot. So there's a whole bunch of things happening back here, right? So those, oh, there's a bunch of, those are actually different uh, people back there, right? There's the eyes, there's the helmet, there's trumpets. So there's actually a whole bunch of trumpeteers following behind her. And she's playing the flute, so she must be the leader. She must be the leader of the pack. So we've got different types of arbor rod, maybe some pets, maybe some cool boots, maybe some cool chest piece playing the flute, maybe a helmet. <clears throat> Anything else here? Oh, there's like uh, antennas coming out of the helmet, right? There's like uh, bug antennas coming out. Is there bug antennas coming out of there? There it is. So if you look even closer than close, you can see there's actually bug antennas coming out of all these people, right? There's the bug antennas right there. There's two more bug antennas, maybe. So all of those uh, little yellow lines are bug antennas. <clears throat> I wonder what that's about. And what's this thing? Is this thing just on her back? This thing's just on her back to amplify the sound or something, right? We can see there's some arms coming out. And these are over there. So what if uh, those are sound amplifiers too or something? Super sick. So that was that one. I guess uh, if the card is backwards like this, this means we don't actually have a playset. So that's how we kept track of that, right? If we don't have a full playset, then we can't uh, fill it out. So there's four copies of there, and here there would be less than four copies. So you have a couple copies of him then. Sergal, the Royal Paladins, the High Beast, Rise Up, uh, the Pride of the Night. Super sick looking dog, right? <clears throat> super sick arbor there. A super sick uh, arbor there. So he has like uh, wings almost. Oh, it looks like there's uh, stuff coming out. So those actually propel him. Those are like uh, jet engines, right? You can see the afterburner effect coming out. Yeah, afterburner effect coming out over there too. Super sick. And what is that? All right, so it looks like there's just uh, crystals in the background. <clears throat> so it looks like there's a pathway here, right? So there's actually a walkway right here. So there is a place you could walk, but then there's a bunch of crystals in the back. There's actually some buildings back here that we just noticed, right? There's a bunch of windows to the building. So this is actually just one big building in the back. I think that was it. So there's one of the dogs of the <clears throat> dogs of the game. Oh, and here's a unicorn, right? High Beast, Seeker, OK, Peros. So he says, Balcos, not at blood, your uh, fears not the enemy. A war horse is the pride of a knight. Super sick. So he's got a uh, floating things. Are those floating? Yeah, looks like those are floating. He's got some type of armor on there. Got some cool shin armor. And then a little what? I don't know, just a little bracelet or something. Got some armor up here, super sick armor. There's uh, some more floating things in the back. So are those things actually shooting out lasers? Oh, okay, yeah, you can see in the very corner, right? So this thing's actually a gun probably, so it looks like it's shooting a laser out of there. As you can tell, because maybe that's shooting a laser. Maybe there's more lasers shooting up out over there. Maybe the lasers shoot up out of over here. Or those lasers come from the background. Huh, yeah, it's like, uh, are those, yeah, those are gunshots. Those are definitely gunshots right there. That's definitely a gunshot right there. So, looking at the picture, we can't really tell where all the gunfire is coming from. Maybe those are shooting things too? Anyways, just a unicorn with tons and tons of guns, and he's got floating guns. That's a super sick unicorn. Here's the next one, right? <clears throat> Silent Sage Sharon. Now wake up and a secret power lies within you. So it's a super sick anime girl character, right? She doesn't have any boots, boots or anything. She has a uh, log dress on. She's sitting in a chair reading a book. And she's got a cool shirt on, right? She's got cool sleeves, cool designs on there, right? And she has glasses on. So she seems like a pretty smart anime girl, right? She has glasses and she's reading a book. You can't get any smarter than that. So it looks like she's just sitting maybe in some like a library or something. 
Now wake up, a secret power lies within you. All right. And then here's another one. <laughs> Silent Shade Sharon. So I guess this is a different version of her, right? This would be like the normal version of her. This would be like the lewd version of her. Something like that. That's what we understand. Just because you can see her legs. You can always see up her dress, right? <laughs> so we can see this. Something is... Is that... What is that? We can't tell what that is. Maybe that's supposed to be like uh, dust or something. Maybe that's like dust because she just fell down. So that's just the poofs of smoke of uh, dust coming up. She is in the library, right? We can see in the back all the books. There's tons and tons and tons of books. Some more books up here too, right? So these are just uh, shelves and shelves full of books. Can't see what's uh, can't see what's behind over there. See, she's got a book on her head, right? She's like, oh, no, I have uh, just fallen, and a book has fallen on my head. She has that uh, dazed look on her face, kind of. Yep, same thing. Does she have the same? Oh, no, she's wearing a different type of armor. Yeah, it's different. This one has uh, <clears throat> some type of lining at the edges of the arbor. And the chest piece is different, right? This is white, purple. Because we can't see a green cloak coming over anything. So it is a different armor, right? Even the that had linings, so a different chest piece that was a lot different. So two different Saren mages with two different outfits, and she's fallen down. You could almost see up her skirt. And this one, so we like this one just because it looks super sick, right? Saren Seeker Maris of the Royal Paladins for the Humans. Now it is time to show your courage. So we just like the uh, colors of it, mainly the sky, right? Anything that has a sky blue sky, and then it's like a white, white and blue. Just the ultimate color combinations, and then you add some red in there as well, and then you make it even better. Although I think uh, maybe blue and white, a blue and white cloak would have been better. Just everything blue and white, right? Secret Maris, uh, now is the time to show your courage. I think we read that. So we can see in the background, we got some horses here, right? It's just a knight riding a horse. We can see the poofs of smoke coming up as the horses are riding. So there's two knights in the background, and you're just uh, running up ahead. So you got a super sick sword here, right? Gleaming in the light. You got a arbor on. You got a cloak. So that's a cloak flowing in the back. And he has another cloak. So I guess these guys all wear red cloaks. We can't see the face of the horse. Is there anything else in this picture? I'm trying to figure out if that's like shields or something. Oh, we can see the face of the horse over there, right? So there's the front of the horse. So the horse does have some uh, arbor on his head. He does have face arbor. Then he does have side arbor along his mane. He does have front arbor. Then he has armor on the front of his legs there. So the horses are definitely well protected. And the soldiers are well protected. Maybe that's a shield on his arm, actually. So maybe the shield is attached to his arm. And it looks like that's the weapon of choice. So he doesn't have a shield. Is that a white cloak or something? Some white thing's coming out. But his armor is super sick. So that's the last look at him, right? That's a, <clears throat> just a overall super sick artwork. Maybe one of the best artworks. And this one's pretty sick, right? She's going to the party. We got a flash player, Navion, for the Royal Paladins human. Cheer up and let's go. So just lots of colors everywhere, right? Every color of the rainbow coming out of some, looks like just some uh, light type of show. So maybe it's, she's at some type of party or something. Some, uh, is that like a disc in the back? Oh no, those are drums. Syllables. So is she holding that one with her other hand? So here's her one hand here. Is she holding that one? And you can't see her other hand. So maybe her other hand is holding that one. And maybe she smashes those together. They make a really, really loud, annoying noise. <clears throat> oh, she does have cat ears, right? She does have cat ears. If you look close. There's two cat ears. So that's super sick, right? She has a hat. Blue hat. Yep. And she has a bow on the back, and then a super sick blue arbor, and then a skirt, and then boots. You can almost see up the skirt again. <clears throat> so there's that card. And the Pegasus, right? He like Pegasus, Royal Paladin's High Beast. A Pegasus gives strength to a knight. 
So here's the Pegasus. This is a cool glyph on the ground on the bottom of the Pegasus. He's got some armor, right? Got some leg armor here with some cool armor. So it looks uh, almost the same as that other armor up there. Yeah, it looks like uh, are those something coming out. So would those be like uh, weapons or something? If something gets too close to the horse or he could just uh, run into the enemy and then he just stabs them with those. So there's like spikes. So that's super sick. He just has uh, weapons on his legs. He... <coughs> yeah, so he probably just does like that, right? He rears up his hoof and then he just kneels down and then he just literally stabs them with those spikes. That's actually super sick. He's got the angel wings on the back, right? He's got some tail flowing back. He's got something right there. <clears throat> got some armor here. Cool chest armor. He's got the arbor in the back of the habit here. Main. Got the front arbor here, right? Super sick. <clears throat> so there's that unicorn. So I wonder if uh, we're going to have to put all the unicorns together and see which is the best unicorn. Oh. That was on the next page. We were a bit ahead of ourselves. So there's only uh, one card on this page to look at then. So we got the Ardent Jewel Knight Poly of the Royal Knight Human Paladins. So Jewel Knights change radiance to strength. So she's super sick, right? There's a sword right there. We got that. There's some cool leggings right there. And then we got uh, some cool armor. Is that just like armor or something? Maybe it looks like it. And then she's got a whole bunch of uh, back pieces of the arbor. So it's like one of those uh, arbors that's kind of like a skirt. It just has a whole bunch of different uh, arbor pieces laying out in some type of skirt fashion. Something like that. And then some type of cool belt with a picture of like a wolf or a dragon or a demon or something. Yeah, you see a face down there, kind of, <clears throat> but super sick, so she got that. She doesn't have anything covering her chest for some reason, so that's open. And then she got some armor up there, and then uh, red. So I guess her color is red, super sick, sick shoulder pads. She has uh, some glowing hands, so maybe she's about to cast something, right? Super sick uh, helmet up there, super sick crown with the uh, rubies. Super sick, so I guess she's like the ruby knight. All right. I think that was it, right? Yep. And we looked at these ones already. So now there's a cat. So I guess maybe these will be like 20 minutes long. There's what? Two pages left. So we got the Jewel Knight Hillaby Royal Knight High Beast. Drink up. Meow. So we got some uh, water here, right? Oh, because it's a healer, right? Heal trigger. So she comes out and she heals you. Yeah, so drink up. This is like a healing potion. Awesome. Super sick. So he's got some cool... Armor up there, right? Cool helmet. Is that uh, <clears throat> armor? So we can't really tell. I can't really tell too much about this picture. Maybe it's just little like uh, fashion pieces or something. That's her foot there, right? So it looks like this is just a cat that has cocked up, concocted up a potion that will heal you. Then we see the potions coming out. Oh, it looks like she's pouring it. Okay, yep. Yeah. Expect, looking uh, closer at the picture, you would think she was holding a bottle, but looking closer at the picture, she's actually pouring it, right? There's the tea cup, or tea pouring thing. There's the spout. There's the water coming out. And then it uh, flows all the way up there. All right, so she's pouring you a cup of healing water. All right, super sick. So what's next? Yeah, here we go. Here's another super sick anime character, right? Knight of Pretty Sword, Royal Paladin Humid. I'll retaliate with this uh, new model of mine. This is super sick. So I think we uh, used it in one of the videos, or we were thinking about using the videos. But she's got the super sick boots, right? Super sick uh, black stockings. Super sick uh, arbor there. So that's just the uh, arbor. It's not a shield or anything. That's actually just some type of skirt arbor like they usually have. And then some cool <clears throat> more skirts that float out. Some weapons. So is this a sword in the front? Oh yes, there's a sword right there. Four of them. All right. So there's a sword sitting in the front here. We can see. There's a, another sword sitting over here. And there's two more swords sitting over here. Right. There's one sword. There's another sword. So there's four swords sitting at her disposal. And I guess uh, this sword is maybe actually the sword that was in the center or something. That's my theory. I imagine there was some sword that was in the center and she just picked it up. And then she's trying to look at it and decide is this the sword that she wants to choose? It is a super sick looking sword, right? 
She has super sick uh, blue and white armor. So blue and white armor always seems to good, be a good combination. Super sick uh, armor gloves. Super sick armor chest piece. Got super sick uh, skirt, right? Super sick pink hair. And super sick uh, sapphire. Is that sapphire? Yep. So looks like we have a ruby knight and a sapphire knight. Alright. So what's this one? So it's really over 20 minutes. <clears throat> How did we make them? 20 minutes. We still have the other thing to go through. We got like two more pages. Maybe be like 20 minutes or something. But the last card we looked at was the Knight of Pretty Sword. And she was trying to decide which sword did she want to bring into battle. She has uh, five different swords she could choose. I don't know if there's anything hidden in the background. Oh, there is something hidden in the background, right? There's more swords on the back. More swords on the back. One, two, three swords. That sword looks super sick too. That one we can't see that sword because it's hiding behind her and same with that one we can't see the handles there's another sword right there oh there's another sword right there so we can see a couple swords in the background so there's this sword back here so she actually has a whole selection of swords all around her those are all swords in the background laying against the wall she has swords laying in the background against the wall here and she's picking that sword so it's just a sword absolutely everywhere that picture